We've all heard the story of how millions of dollars of Parishna money was used to have Pat Broca stopped for 20, 25 years, embedding themselves to see and give reports to Miscavige of what Pat Broca was up to. Pat Broca, who was with Hubbard till he died. Um, now, because you were corporate liaison and you knew some dirty little secrets, if I can put it that way, of Miscavige actually running the church, you had, as I understand, two operatives in different periods of time. That's correct. On you. That's correct. They basically uh, used private investigators and operatives, spent the same amount of money, if not more, I'm sure, following me for over 22 years. Wow. Uh, what happened originally was I moved to Las Vegas and I thought I was done with all of this, went into business with some friends, and then we ended up hiring a guy named David LeBeau. David LeBeau is currently being, <laughs> I think he's an interested party in Monique Mosey Rathburn lawsuit. He's a defendant. Texas. He's yeah. a defendant um, in that lawsuit. And he is a notorious David Miscavige operative. That's correct. He was actually, the, that was the first time that they actually used him was in Las Vegas with us. He basically embedded himself into our lives. We hired him at the company as an as a employee. He moved into the same apartment complex. We played racquetball with him. I ended up having him do my taxes the first two years that I was there. He knew everything about me and our, my friends and every bit of it was being reported to David Miscavige. I found out years later that the reason that David Lebeau was sent in on us is that, that this time period was when Scientology was trying to get their tax exempt status from the IRS and David Miscavige was concerned that we might be contacted by the IRS and testify against him and his activities. So that's one of the reasons why they sent this guy in there to find out what we were doing. I'm standing in the driveway of my house on Bentwood Court looking east down towards the end of the cul-de-sac. I'm going to zoom in here because you can see down the end where I'm going to head to is a pole with what appears to be a birdhouse on the top of it. We're going to go down and investigate what's actually in that birdhouse. Okay, so here we are at the birdhouse and I've just come here and opened up the roof. Yeah, and here is the camera inside of this funny birdhouse. The wife of a former leader in the Church of Scientology filed a lawsuit charging the church spied on her and her husband. Monique Rathburn filed a lawsuit claiming the surveillance amounted to harassment defamation, and humiliation. She is the wife of Marty Rathburn, who used to be the leader in the church and is now a leading critic of the institution. Photographers on the set of her latest film, Miss Meadows, in Ohio, were approached by a guard on Monday. He probed them on whether they were part of the Church of Scientology. The guard allegedly said Katie's security team had been told to keep our eyes open for anything suspicious and to report it. The church has something built in, you could say hardwired into its DNA, that it must survive at all costs. And at all costs means hey, hey, hey. trespassing, you're under arrest for trespassing. No, no, you do criminal acts, break the law, destroy your enemy. As long as the church survives. In a way, people think, well, the church is just trying to survive. But I believe sincerely, the main action of the church 
is to destroy, not survive. It destroys everything in its wake. 